Coach Vicino, and our TED Talk is titled The Secret to Happiness. The three main points we're going to talk about today are the 30-day challenge, which we both performed, positivity is key, and how to create your own happiness. So what the 30 Days of Happiness is, is a challenge that I'm sure most of you have seen on Instagram or on Facebook where people will post a picture about what they're grateful of that day, and it, what it does is provide a little bit of positivity in their life. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to try to take the ch challenge upon ourselves because before I would just see that and say, oh, it's just like some bogus thing. But during the 30 day challenge, what I decided to do was challenge myself each day. So a lot of people do it differently. And each day I set a goal for myself. And within that 30 days, I decided to exercise every day. It really made me feel a lot better about myself. I decided that if something negative happened to me, I would try to, uh, point out the more positive of that negative situation and take away for the positive thoughts so that, you know, it's not all negativity that would surround me and also give a positive vibe to other people. But what affected me the most throughout my 30 days was um, day 14 when I was at work. Uh, my challenge for that day was to perform a selfless act. And I currently am a waitress at City Tap House Logan Square in Center City. We just opened it so, you know, we're kind of getting established Right now we're not making a lot of money because there's a lot of server on staff to make sure everything's running smoothly. So we have a pre-shift before every shift so that our manager could tell us what we have to do better. And during this specific day, he held up a $50 bill and he said, whoever sells the most um, dinner specials of the day uh, gets to win this $50. So of course, throughout the whole night, everyone's really working hard to get that extra $50. And fortunately, at the end of the night, I came out on top and I was the server that sold the most dishes. And what I decided to do for my selfish act was I decided to share that with one of my other coworkers who made less money than me that night. And what I took from that was not only is this challenge helping me, but it's also helping other people and it's also giving a positive vibe to them as well. So that's what I really thought was great about performing this challenge. And also after 30 days was up, I still exercise every day and I still want to be positive every day. So it's not something that is just like, people think it's BS, it's just, it really does become a habit after a certain amount of time. I think we read it was 21 days that it becomes a habit. And you now I see myself trying to be more positive and I continue to work out, it makes me just feel healthier altogether. So there's like a couple different ways you can do this challenge. So for me, I pick something for 30 days that I was grateful for rather than things I'd usually complain about. And I said that if I started complaining or talk negative that I would have to start the challenge over from day one. So I would, like, the first thing I wrote was, instead of complaining every day that I have to wake up at 6 o'clock for school when my alarm come off, I'm grateful that I'm able to go to school because many people aren't. And when I would hear my alarm at 6 in the morning, I'm grateful that I'm able to get up and actually I'm alive because some people don't wake up in the morning. And things like going to, to work. Many people complain about it. They say it's too much with school and college and working, but I'm able to get a job, which many people can't because they're unemployed. And I, I was usually before I was a very negative person so I wanted to do this because I thought like this would really help me and I believe that you have to be positive in order to create your happiness because negativity really brings nothing to your life besides making you upset and bring you down. So what we learned throughout this challenge was that you have to create your own happiness. Many people think it's a destination but you have to add it to your life. It has to be your mindset, your mindset and it's as simple things like you can just accept more and judge people less. Smile at someone that's walking by. That could really help someone else's day. You know, it helps you to see them smiling back. It gives, you know, bright vibes. You could um, feel more, think less, and do more instead of just saying, oh, I'll start the gym tomorrow or I'll start that project tomorrow. Just take action on um, your goals and that will really help you, you know, be happier. You won't have to be stressed in the day before your projects do because, you know, you'll, be, you'll have everything done. And, you know, just love more and forgive less, you know, life's short, so you don't want to hold any grudges. It's just like the simple things in life that will make you happier and positive and have more optimistic outlook on life. So it might sound really cliche, but positivity is truly the key to happiness. It's your state of mind that makes you happy. A lot of people do believe that you need things to make you happy, but in reality, it's how you feel about the situation and what you're going to do about it. So, um... We want to challenge each one of you to do the 30 day challenge, whether it's posting a picture on Instagram or, you know, doing what I did and challenging myself each day. And then we want to want you to think about what your biggest aspiration in life to be. 
many people, you know, if you ask them that question, they'll say it's a, it's a good job, it's, it's money, it's a nice car. But in reality, happiness is the key behind all that. You have to be happy in order to succeed. And then our video was, it's a Beyonce video, music video. And in the beginning, um, she's on in, a con in a beauty contest and during the questionnaire part, he asked her what her aspiration in life to be is. And she says, my aspiration in life to be is happy. And then they show like little clips in between. It's all, every clip of her is her like sad, looks like she's crying, she's in a bad mood. And then the point of it was to say, to show you that many people think that happiness comes from like how much money you have, where you live, or what kind of job you have. But in reality, it's your state of mind and you create your own happiness.